Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. So today we're doing something that I think is mainly aimed towards people that are starting out in 3D, but hey, you never know. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to manually create a nice round hole in a square object. Now, I know there are tools that will do that for you, circularized components, that kind of thing. Uh, problem there is that you have less control over the uh, topology, right? And I think it's important for you to understand the mechanics of how this works so you can apply it in uh, many scenarios, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a, um, a square because I want to explain how it works. And then we're going to go in and actually do it, right? So we'll take a simple polygon plane. We'll hit Control A and we'll set it to uh, one by one for now, right? So one by one. There you have it. Okay. Now, if we had to turn this into something that resembles a circle, we would have to have a lot more vertices, right? At the very least, you need one in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, and even then it wouldn't look really good. So if I hit insert edge loop, set it to multiple and one, and add it like so, hit Q on the keyboard, and go to vertex, and select these guys, right? If I hit R to flare this out, it's not a nice circle because we need more vertices there, there, and so forth. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna insert edge loop again. We'll add one here, 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 and here. Okay. Now, now we can go in here and we can take these vertices like so. And we can hit R and we can start to flare them out. And then we'll take these and flare them out some more. And we're getting pretty close, right? So that's kind of the idea. So what that means is you need four corners. Let me go back. You need one, two, three, four corners, and you need three vertices on each side to be able to do that. So four times three is 12, and we have these four corners, which is 16 total. Now, if you know that, what you can do is take a cylinder that has 16, um, 16 vertices, right? So we're gonna go to Control A. Let's go in here, set this to 16. And then for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and get rid of the bottom part. We don't need that just yet. So that's what we have. We have 16 vertices on the edges. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here to edge, double click, control E to extrude. Let's hit R to pull that out to let's say somewhere around there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that outer circle and turn that into something that resembles a square, right? So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to vertex one, hit W, hold down X, snap it, snap it, snap it, and snap it like so. Then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna uh, do the same. We're gonna snap it right there. We'll snap that one right there. That one's gonna go there and that one's gonna go there. And then we need to take these and these and um, these two and uh, these two and hit R and we're gonna flare them out until we have our square. Okay, now, now that we have that, we can go in to face, we can hold down the tab key and select these right here, hit the lead then we can take the whole thing. Uh, yep, yeah. we're gonna hit Control E to extrude. Let's do five or so, all right? And that will give us this object right here. Now, if you want to reinforce that shape, which is kind of important, we're gonna insert edge loops or we go in here and bevel it. So we're gonna double click on this guy, double click on this guy, that one that one and then we want these of course and there you go we're gonna hit control b to bevel 0 0.001 
make it a very, very tiny bevel and hit three to smooth it out, right? So you get something looking like this. Now, if you think it's not uh, clean enough, you can hit one, you can go back. And what you can do is you can insert additional edge loops. So we can go in here, we're gonna set it to manual. And I'll go in here and I'll put one in right there. And I'll put one in right there. And then we'll do the same at the bottom. And we'll do the same here. Q on the keyboard. Q on the keyboard. Yeah, there you go. And we'll hit three to preview smooth. And you'll get a much, much cleaner setup, right? So that's all there's to it. And uh, I know this is simple, but it's all about understanding the geometry, right? So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. Let me know if you have any other challenges you're dealing with as far as shapes you have difficulty creating and I'll uh, happily do a video on it, right? Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.